Hi there. I am back to do another collage challenge with the lovely uh, Art and Junk Journals with Julie and Lee's Art Studio that actually co-host the challenge. Now for August, I should have done it on the 3rd of August. It is now the 12th, I think. So yeah, I'm well, 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 well late. <laughs> I haven't been able to get up here for quite a while, uh, mainly due to my door's been put on. My door is on. My new door is on. It's not finished, but it is on. And what a nightmare that was for them. And it still needs handles and it still needs treating but it's in the hole and the old one's gone hurrah 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 now it's really really hot so I've not wanted to come up here because <laughs> it does actually get quite hot here in here and uh, it does have full sun most of the most of the day but here we are I wasn't sure whether I was going to do it because obviously I've got quite late. It, it, it's still August, but it's not gone out on the day that Julie and Lee intended to go out, which is the first Wednesday of each month. Now for August, they have changed the way they're going to do them because up until July, they used to pick out from like throw roller dice and pick out from eight prompts this from now on it is classed as a scavenger hunt sorry that's next door's dog he's obviously just come out and barking where was i right so the august theme is sewing and what you do is you hunt for everything you can to put on a page in a collage or even a glue book page it depends up up to you what you want to do uh, anything to do with sewing buttons thread sewing machine needles pins clothes pincushion fabric sewing patterns cross stitch embroidery all manner of other sewing items that you can think of tape measures and all sorts of stuff it took me a little while to gather some supplies that are all based on sewing we can use any papers we want and the bonus and we can use any stamping stenciling stickers i've got quite a number of uh, stamps that are sewn related and my mum is a sewer she used to sew my clothes when i was young she taught me to sew and i do own a sewing machine i just cannot lift it so there isn't anywhere for me to set up my sewing machine so at the moment I'm not doing any sewing but once I can get this room into any kind of order I hope to have my sewing machine set up all the time so I don't have to hump it about and I can get my daughter's boyfriend is big strapping lad so he can do all, he's been doing lots of heavy lifting he's helped my husband put the door on and all that sort of stuff so I've got people that can help me it's just that it's going to take time to get this room emptied sorted there's so much to get out it's unbelievable I'm getting there at least I've got my door now so I can actually start working in the room if it stopped being so hot <laughs> it's about 34 35 today or it has been the other week it was just just under 40 here where i live but there it was we did hit 40 in i believe in cambridge somewhere cambridge here so yeah it we're just not cut out for this sort of heat you know we're a wet climate and it's not been wet we've got droughts there's hose pipe bands and all sorts of things going on luckily at the moment we haven't got a host pipe ban but it could be coming in because we're not actually due any rain now until next week sometime hopefully we'll get some rain everything's parched all our greenery sort of yellow <laughs> yeah so sorry i digress 
so right a scavenger hunt august sewing so i'm going to use big gertie or sometimes i call her gertie and Flo. this is gertie this is Flo. Uh, hopefully you can see them but I've, I've left it where it is because I, I wanted it in this place so I know I'm lined up in my Gertie and Flo I have these patchwork papers and on one of my patchwork papers if I can find it you can see that one half of it's here I've got a book that has how to make how to make clothes from patterns and I don't know whether it teaches you how to do the pattern cutting as such but it shows you how to make a garment and so this particular page has got part of that on it which I'm I'm going to use this one it's also got a little scrap of this is my mum's cross stitch she's also a cross stitcher she's a knitter as well so she does quite a lot of needle crafts but she cross stitches she still cross stitches right now she doesn't do so much sewing but she does do knitting on occasion so yeah like especially baby clothes and things like that but we haven't got any babies in the family now and most of them are growing up and she cross stitches and she makes things like christmas cards and birthday cards with smallish she's done some really big pieces and she's got um the four seasons on her wall in her living room and they are amazing absolutely amazing my mother's so clever don't know where i get it from really <laughs> what i've got is where's my folder over here sorry i've um stuck my lee cables down and so when i reach over it comes full stretch i'm hoping i'm not making too much noise on the mic right let's get this is a folder i designated for my collection of stuff this is a craft box a six by six scrapbook papers and it's in the theme of sewing i had the box oh, a good year or so ago now uh, come with all sorts of things i've also got a stamp which is the same as that one on there so i've got a stamp to use uh, i think that's all for the stamps i've got other stamps in other makes so i'm thinking i might use that where am I going? Oh, and that one's a sewing one i don't quite know which one i'll use so i'm going to keep those out put them up there i have also got other stamps that's a stamperia one not that one yeah i've got this one that's got various bits and pieces on i'm not sure where i got that one from these are steampunk ones but they've got like a mannequin it's like a mannequin looking so it's got the stand and obviously they've got no faces as such and like the hanger and things like that so there are elements on there that i could use and this is the same it's got a stand and the hanger and various dresses so i could use them if i want to i don't know what i'm going to use yet this is a rubber dance uh, stamp they come without any mounting they're just on the red rubber and that one's got a zigzaggy border on it these are called grungy borders it's that sort of stitching i think so both of those two are sewing related and i can just f use them for finishing so there's quite a lot of nice things on here tape measures sewing machine itself so at some point i've actually stamped some of these out onto with brown ink so i don't actually need to use it if i don't want to i can use these unless i want to use a different color so they're already pre-stamped i've got them out of my stamped items box so we've got that 
and then I've raided various that's the collage every extraordinary things to cut out and collage book I pulled out some sewing machines I quite like this one because this is the internal gubbins and that's just a you know quite an old sewing machine then I've got various adverts and things and all sorts of bits and pieces down here that I've pulled out my ephemera pot there's a steampunky one with the body form on it these are like little tags that have been like pre-made with various sewing items on them so I've got quite a selection of things I can use scissors more body form that's cotton uh, that's scissors and then I've also gone through my Daphne's diary and pulled out various bits and pieces this is from this vintage oh, no, vintage magazine uh, it's a French French one I probably got it from Sharika I think and it's all about home and it's got various adverts in but uh, what I've done is I've I can use this because this is in like an embroidery and they give you the pattern to do it as well as there's uh, you know making these various embroideries on this piece of paper hopefully you can see I, I haven't put the light on yet but I don't know I think I might have to I'm not sure if you can see very well I'll have a check in a minute to... trouble is with this book being so big I have to have my uh, camera up quite high so I don't know whether you can see it or not so I've pulled out some Daphne's diary papers pages I mean she's obviously a hand sewn doll I've got buttons and scissors on that one I've got a body form I've this is a dress made from paper books so i pulled pull that whole article out because it's got a body body form on it mannequin whatever you want to call it she it's all about that lady sylvie's studio i think she's a foreign lady they're beautiful and that's an advert and I, that's got body forms on it this is sort of a just a dress and I just pulled the various bits out that I liked really that's how you make this it's kind of like an apron from some old jeans or whatever shows you how to make it now, this is an old Le Petit Echo de la Modes and they're the front covers which are sewing because I've actually got some I don't know if I've got any petite ones but I've got Echo de la Modes and they are sewing based magazines where they've got the fashion that's where i get my fashion ladies from sometimes the sewing machine with a lovely a foxy doll you know sort of sewing doll and then there's a few embroidery these are embroideries that i can use as backgrounds there's a llama he's a llama he's a made llama how to make him <laughs> and this is some kind of stitching to create tie-dyeing i think that's the whole point of that one and there's a sewing machine there and some bits and pieces on that one i think it's how to make a leather bound journal actually or well, i don't know actually it might be on mending but it's got various bits on there right i haven't turned the light on yet but i think i'm getting very close to turning to turning it on i've also pulled out my tissue patterned pieces this is from a garment that my mum's probably made for i think she made it for my niece i don't think it was for my daughter because it doesn't really ring a bell i don't think <laughs> I don't know whether she made an awful lot for my daughter but I think it's some kind of blouse or something 
and this is the pattern instructions paper and they're all they all make good background so i'll probably use some of those as well i've forgotten to bring my laces box up which i will do and my fabrics what else have i got yeah i think that's probably about it i know i've got a book on tatting somewhere but it's buried in a pile of books <laughs> it would take me quite a long while to get to i think and and that and i've also got a few more other bits of my mum's cross stitch in a folder because i found that one i probably won't use it i was thinking of using the sunflowers so what i've done is i've actually scanned the originals because she's she's made them into cards and people have had these now some of these and I just scanned the original uh, cross stitch and so I've got them and I can reuse them as much as I like I do have quite a large number of various things that I've scanned in but I've also got some originals of my own birthday cards and Christmas cards that she that she sends us each year and she enjoys still stitching them and they don't take too long to do unlike her big pieces that she's got on her wall of her living room she made uh, four seasons they're like angels four season angels and they've got beads on them and they're just amazing uh, she doesn't do big stuff like that anymore she used to do stuff like that when she was younger but my mum's 86 now so she's getting a little bit frail and uh, not able to do big stuff like that anymore Plus she wants to be able to know she can finish it and, and she likes making the cards and her, she sends them to her friends and her family, uh, both her brother and her sister still alive and uh, you know her friends from WI and that all get them and they love them and we get them at Christmas and stuff, it's, they're lovely you know hand stitched cards which is very very nice. So I think I need to go and get my lace my laces and my fabrics and we'll see what we can put together i'll be right so back. i've cut out some bits and pieces this is the next day because i didn't come back <laughs> so yes we've got a nice summer summery evening again i think i have got most of the pieces or i've decided on most of the pieces i want I like this six so I'm going to I'll try and leave the number showing and some of the writing if I can I like the line so we'll so this is the basic background I think I'm going to use this one on here is fabric pieces that have been sewn on uh, the actual dress is made out of paper I believe but they've added fabrics to the paper so I I kind of have taken a little bit of inspiration from this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp on some fabric some of the things that I need for the page so I've decided to that is kind of a focal image but i want to put down lots of lots of these adverts and things for the various different types of product we you know cottons and, and needles and that's bias tape they're obviously hook and eyes and I, I love this this scissors one so that's sort of going in the middle I've taken that off because it's a little bit I, I it didn't I didn't like what it was so I've I've just took that edge off and we'll just use this part of it and the birds are going crazy for some reason I don't know what's going on out there I'm going to use the pink mannequin uh, dress form whatever you want to call it I've cut out a little bit of 
of this which I think I might put there somewhere I might use this one don't know just sort of tuck it under there maybe and I've used I've got some of the stitching which I think I might pop up here and I've got a needle out which goes in there because that's needles I want to print this is a black spool cotton so I'm actually going to print a black one of these I think to put down there uh, so I need to do some stamping once I've got this basic layer down and and we'll see some I might stamp on the page I kind of I kind of wanted that to be poking out a little bit so you could see it um, and obviously I want the flowers to show because that is kind of the colour inspiration in the end but I do have some blues as well here and there and I haven't quite decided whether I'm going to use this or not I'm not sure at the moment it's kind of not fitting very well because I've actually cut it out and I don't know whether I like it cut out now I've done it I might stamp it onto a separate bit of paper using the stamp set sewing machine and I can choose what colour I want what ink I want and I can use some of the the handmade I'm going to stamp onto fabric and obviously I've got zigzags and things like that that I can just sort of do borders and edgings and stuff on various different stamp pads I've got I've also got the ones in the rubber dance ones zigzags so I should be able to come up with some things from that lot and now the, the plan was that I might make a paper doll so I'm going to see how this looks when I get it down and I don't know whether the paper doll will just completely obliterate everything that I'm doing so I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to do that I, I could do a great big massive spread on this it's just you know there's so much of it I want to sort of show element all of the elements that I've kind of come up with and I don't think I can fit it all on I mean I've gone on to this side I haven't quite decided but I, I don't think I want to go into you know other pages and I, I'm not sure at the moment whether this is the right page <laughs> but I like the poppies that's the trouble so I'm gonna I'm gonna wing it and we'll see how we go and I'm gonna I'm gonna put the base layer down and then I might make the paper doll and just see if it fits or not if not I could use this one I might cut her out and use her because she will go because I've got blues on the page I mean even she's quite large but when I cut her out she might actually go on quite nicely so I'm gonna see we'll see let's get some of this down and we'll go from there I don't know where that's going yet it might actually end up going up there I don't know right so I'll be right back once I've stuck most of this down so yeah it's curling up a little bit some of that's probably not stuck down very well it's all dry anyway so i've been fiddling about and i've been doing a little bit of stamping i did actually put those on but i i'll show you what else i've been doing so this is basically the background and now i just need to embellish all the other bits and pieces so that's stuck down it's these are everything that's on here is stuck and there's a few things now I need to do I've kind of I I did actually 
break that off so I've had to put that over I've swapped these around and I'll put the uh, the uh, stitching down this side that needs sticking down I missed a bit by the look of it and I'm sort of happy with the background now uh, I found out a few buttons they're sort of pink and cream and blue I've just popped them in here so I don't lose them under my pile and I'll decide where they're going in a little while firstly I want to show you some stamping that I'm doing so I did do a little practice one right let's just push that up out of the way a little bit need my keys right hopefully you can see because it is starting to I'm starting to lose the light I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in black because it does show up better on the fabric in black uh, what did I do it yeah so this one's black so I'm gonna and it stamps really quite well on fabric this is quite a thin fabric and I was gonna find another piece but I think this one suffice I found it in my scraps bin so I tend to leave it on for um hopefully you can see for a little while so it soaks into the fabric before I lift it off so there we are that's quite a nice nice one and what I tend to do is cut it a little bit wider than what I want it so I can do a straight line and then once you've got a new edge I'll just pull off some threads just to fray the edge up oops pulled off too many at once <laughs> and this one we're not a very straight line I must admit this is fluffed up lovely because it's been hanging around for a while and quite often bits of it come off now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it on with glue stick let me just pull my book back down let's see if I can line it up hopefully that's about all it Oh, there's a bit of fabric so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it down and then as I haven't got anything on the other side I might do a bit of stitching I might stitch it on just a little bit of a stitch across there I don't know I might need to take a little bit more off it because it's going over the flower a bit too much take a bit more off not worried about the bottom it's just sides and we'll fray it again ambulances or something then by uh, for any of my new viewers I live on a very very busy main road and so obviously with the doors windows and everything open you can hear what's going on Right, that's a bit better. I don't, I don't mind going over a little bit, but I didn't want to cover all the flower up. Probably should have done it first, but never mind. Right, so that's going to be going there. I've also printed off a cotton reel, which I've sort of fussy cut out. And I'm going to put this down here with this. I haven't quite decided on really whether I want a white one or not. I don't think it stands out very well. Because it this was black black cotton. Uh, there's a little bit. It says black spool cotton. I had to chop that bit off the end because I didn't want to cover me. Uh, thingy bobs up. Poppies. I don't know. I might, I might just put that 
over the edge there like that yeah should we do that why not why not indeed where's my glue let's stick that down don't really want to go over the face part and we'll stick that there like that i just used some old book pages that's you know the blank bit you get at the bottom just use some of that really so stick that there like that uh, where's my pin before i lose it now my dilemma at the moment is which sewing machine do i use so i've got the blue one which doesn't go too badly now that i've got this blue on here uh, or do i use my stamped ones that are a bit fancier they don't really stand out very well so i did a white one with black but i don't know i'm not sure i i think i kind of want to go with this one really i put the blue on the page this bit and i thought well at least this does go i just think the actual doing the paper doll is just not really going to work i i, I might try cutting her out and see how much of it she covers up Ooh, doesn't she look nice if i finish her off properly oh i think i like her yes i think we're gonna go with her then right i have put my lamp on i hope you can see a bit better it is casting a bit of a shadow but it's just a little bit too dark now so i i put her where i wanted her and i have actually uh, glued that on and i'm not i don't want to use wet glue because it just comes through the fabric so i might sew some buttons on i don't know yet so i've just popped her down for a minute and I finished fussy cutting her and her duck <laughs> it's very cute and and I need to glue her feet down I'll just stick them down like that she needs some on her head and she is less stuck a little skirt she just fits in really well and i thought yes it's got to be right hasn't it and i've hunted out lace and ribbon and I can't quite decide what I want to do. This one is a fabric tape, which I think goes really nicely. But it, unless I do it all the way along, it looks really weird. And I'm sort of covering up quite a lot. I'm not quite sure about that one. Uh, this one is too wide and a bit too dark. So I'm not going to go with that one. This is a small piece of trim that I got from the lovely uh, Maud Hempstra here on YouTube. She is in the Netherlands and it, it does go quite nicely but I think with it not being fully I don't know whether to just do part of it. it looks a bit odd part of it so I'm not sure about that one cut a bit of this off it's a little bit of kind of trim probably from a tablecloth or something I quite liked this and I can put it here 
have it sticking out but it doesn't take up the whole edge it decorates her a little tiny bit and then it doesn't cover too much up I think I like that and I can have half it sticking out over the edge which is something I love to do right let's put the pin over there I'm going to give this a go I'm I'm fairly sure I have used it on fabric before if I put a fair amount on the bulky bits and hopefully it will stick fairly sure I've used it before with fabric I'm sure it does say fabric on it that so you can do it right uh, where was I going to put it about here wasn't it Oop. no don't stick in the wrong place we want it going on our little foxy lady oh I don't want that covering up the hole with the tape get that off there quick I should have put that down that way a bit further let's see comes through the owls but I think that's going to stick where's my buttons I don't know whether I really want to sew on the buttons or whether I want to stick them on I'm going to stick them down but usually when I stick buttons on I use my glossy accents right let's see because this takes quite a long time to dry um, I might stay that one let's see if it, but it does oh it tell me it's oh great Thank you. It takes a little more to dry. Some buttons, I like them. I think I'm just going to stick it because I need to get needle and thread and Ooh, that's just stuck to my finger uh, I do get in a mess with glue you know always always in a mess actually um, I might find a small white one I don't particularly like that one See if I can find a small one without having to get the whole lot out. There's one. Oh yes, that's that's nice. I like that. And we will stick that one on. To be honest, I don't feel like stitching today. There we go. I think we are done and then the only thing left to do is to count up what I've done what I've got and we're supposed to put that number on the page so let's give that a go shall we so so there's the pattern page the pattern tissue that's one two three about needles four fabric five buttons six that's embroidery seven 
mannequin eight, thimble nine, ten for the scissors, obviously her, she's eleven, twelve for the hook and eyes, thirteen for the lace, fourteen for a tape measure, fifteen for the embroidery stitching or whatever that is or do I count that twice I don't know hmm. right 15 sewing machine 16 pattern instructions 17 do I get 17 yeah uh, safety pins this stuff is 18 19 for the spool of cotton 20 for the cross stitch did i count the thimble already 21 i can't remember if i count the thimble now <laughs> oh dear let's just do it again one two three four for the fabric five six seven eight nine ten eleven oh did i count now already oh this is really hard <laughs> right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'm going to say 22 because this, this is embroidery and so is that really. 22. These are already on this page. Should I count that? So that is fabric and paper dress uh, I've got fabrics so I've counted that I think we'll say 22 not bad I didn't do too bad hmm 22 we'll say 22 so I need my stamps right I only need a two, don't I? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on, actually what I didn't do is put one of these because these are alteration tags. That'd be 23 then though, wouldn't it? I could put it over here. Should, should we say 23? Because that's an alteration tag. You know, clothing. For clothing. Yeah, let's say 23 then. I'm going to stamp it at the bottom. And I'll put that over here. Like that. So we'll ink them up. And I'm going to put it down the bottom here, like that. That'll do nicely. 23. That's not bad, is it? 23. Quite pleased with that. Quite pleased with that. Oh, Eric came to say hello, didn't he? Is Eric. He's my holder downer really. We should be. I need that out. It's just that this particular phone has got a narrower um, frame on it so I have to have it quite high and so I, I only just about get the page in. So Eric's holding down that page for me because he's good like that 
my daughter made him this is my sewing page scavenger hunt collage challenge 2022 so hashtag 2022 collage challenge august that was the theme was sewing and we've got 23 items on the page i hope you enjoyed watching and this is done for august if you enjoyed watching please don't forgive me don't forget to give me a thumbs up it really does help me being seen especially as i've not been about lately if you'd love to see more videos please uh, subscribe and i would love for you to comment and just say if you enjoyed it obviously i haven't done one since last months in july i haven't done a video in between there i'm hoping i can get up here a bit more often now the door's on but obviously i've still got to work around in putting all the bits on and painting it and all that sort of stuff to to paint it well it won't be painted it was treated it'll be treated it'll be stained um he's got to take the door back off again but and he's got to put all the handles and bolts and everything on it it's still got it's got a lock and that's all and i have to pull it by the lock to open the door <laughs> at the moment because i've got no handle but yes here we are this is done i'm quite pleased with how it's come out and i'm going to leave it open like that because obviously they're still drying they shouldn't take too long in this weather to dry don't forget to check out below i've put all the links and everything to lee's and julie's channels and there should be a playlist hopefully for august it's not always working properly the august i think the actual if you just put 2022 collage challenge in that seems to work and then you can find all of all of them go into that uh, playlist i believe and i'll be telling julie and lee that i've now finally got this done and I hope to see you very soon. Thanks for popping in and watching and I hope you will come back and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.